one thing that every entrepreneur or leader has to learn to do very quickly, forgiving yourself. Forgiving yourself for the mistakes you are doing on the way of showing up for your business, showing up for your people and getting things done. It can be many things. It can be uh, decisions that you realize you took too slowly, conversations that uh, happen with people in a non-positive way, uh, maybe something that you did not realize was actually important and suddenly becomes an emergency that you have to solve last minute. Um, there are plenty of opportunities for making mistakes and, and you know, going in, in directions that are not necessarily the, the best approaches when you are um, an entrepreneur, a leader, whatever step of your journey you are. It can be, you can be new, but you can also be advanced and need to go to the next level. And if you are able to forgive yourself for these mistakes, to, to you know, forget them quickly and stay focused on the growth and the progress, you are going to get success faster, better, and in a way that is more empowering for you, where you build more resilience. So learning to forgive yourself is a very, very important uh, thing to do for, for entrepreneurs and leaders. And I think there are three uh, impactful ways you, you can do that on a regular basis. You can really process your, your learnings in, in a positive way. Um, the, first, the first thing that you, that you can do if you want to, to forgive yourself faster is um, focusing on the who instead of the what. Um, and by that, I mean attaching your identity not to what you are doing right now, which might be mistakes or wrong approaches or things that you will realize maybe later were not, not the right thing to do. Because when, when you do that, you're really focusing on your current skills, on your, on your current decisions, current actions, and they are not representative of what you can create in the future. So if instead you attach your identity to, oh, I'm a person who is trying to be gone. I'm a person who is trying to become the best leader for my team. I'm a person who is trying to, to, to become a successful business owner. Because this is from the, from the future, it's going to give you perspective back. And you can see, oh, yeah, I'm a person who is trying to become, so I'm not yet there. So, okay, what I'm doing right now is what my current self thinks is the best thing to do, but I'm still going to, to be learning. So it's just going to help you put perspective and not see like your mistake in the present as necessarily um, a big impact on the future as well. So think from the place of who you are trying to become instead of what you are currently doing. Uh, the second thing to do to, to help this process of, of moving away uh, faster from, from anything you've not done uh, in a satisfying way is not resisting the learning process. Um, sometimes we have people, I have people saying, oh yeah, I have a learning mindset, I want to grow, I want to change. But when we discuss about the way they are navigating that, they, they talk resistance. They are like, they are either hiding away or they are not, they are refusing to, to process the mistake. Um, they, they're really just disengaged from it. They're, they're really resisted. They're, there is friction in, in the way they describe it instead of a true learning mindset. A true learning mindset is really about like, I'm leaning in. I'm on a growth journey. I'm all in. There is, no, there is no resistance. It's, you know what? On my learning journey, I'm not perfect. I'm just human. I'm going to learn things. Learning things means that I didn't know them before, means that there are going to be struggle. Like, like everything you learn, there's going to be phases of mastery. And they really go for it. They just engage. They, they get the lessons from it. They're really, they stay curious, non-judgmental. They really go for understanding, okay, I'm, a, I'm on a learning journey. This is the lessons I'm taking and I'm integrating them and I'm making sure that, you know, whatever things I'm not doing properly yet, I keep this mindset of constantly looking for what is the lesson there and, and something that is empowering and positive. They're just, just saying, oh, you know what? I, I suck. I did this wrong and, and stay focused on that. So, Think about it right now of where, where you are in terms of learning mindset. Are you engaging or are you resisting? And if you are resisting, how can you focus on the lessons instead of focusing on, on what, what went wrong? So this was the, the second thing. Don't resist. And the, third, the first step to, to learn that this uh, faster forgiveness is to integrate your progress. Uh, sometimes I, I talk to people who are telling me, okay, these are all the things going wrong right now in my journey. And when I ask them, what were all the things that went right? They get sometimes dry, and that's that's normal. The mind is used to recall the negative things better than the positive ones. That's why I always encourage my clients to to talk about their wins, to constantly monitor their progress, because then you know if you can make a list of all the things going right, then when your mind goes to the negative things, your brain is like, wait, wait, you you told me you've already accomplished all that. Okay, this is just a bump in the road. This is something you didn't do right, but okay, look at all these other things you've done positively. And it's also about sometimes just looking back and asking yourself, okay, like if I look at myself a year ago, 
have I grown? And when you ask this question, usually, oh yeah, this is all the skills I've built. This is the things I've done that I never thought I was going to do. Um, you know, I surprised myself doing that. And just thinking about actually your, your growth from a year ago, from, from the past year, if, you, if you've grown, there is so much progress there. And sometimes we don't integrate that. We don't really make it part of the journey. And just having this habit to connect with the wins, to connect with the progress, to, to constantly remind yourself of how far you've come already can really help you um, experience the journey differently and, and not seeing mistakes for as a, like, you know, the, the end of the world and, and a sign for failure, but something part of the process. So these were my three tips to, to learn to, to you know, be resilient in your learning progress and, and forgive mistakes or whatever you've not done fast enough or things that you should have unlearned or learned faster, whatever. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you're still able to move. So always attach your identity to who you want to become. Make sure you embrace a full learning mindset and also integrate your progress in a more regular way to, to, to keep yourself motivated as well. And if you ever want to talk about that, because I know that forgiving yourself and, and you know, moving away from sometimes too harsh expectations on yourself can be a tricky, tricky part for ambitious, committed individuals. Um, you can always contact me. I'm, I'm here for you. I will be happy to discuss that with you.